Paxlovid got emergency use authorization to help treat COVID-19. Stay tuned to learn more. What's up guys, hope everyone's been doing well. For those of you who don't know, my name is Edgman and I'm a pharmacist and I enjoy making these videos about common questions patients have about medications or any healthcare related topic. So make sure you subscribe for more content. Now to the rest of the video. Paxlovid is a new antiviral medication made by Pfizer and it recently got emergency use authorization about a couple weeks ago from making this video. Um, and the study published by Pfizer showed a lot of positive outcomes um, for patients who were diagnosed with COVID-19 if, take, if taking Paxlovid within five days. And the way this medication works simply is that it prevents viral replication of COVID-19. Now, that's an oversimplistic way of describing it, but in general, if you prevent viral replication of a virus inside your cell, your body's natural immune system has a easier time um, clearing up that virus from your system and helping you recover faster. Besides the active ingredient in Paxlovid, this treatment regimen also comes with ritonavir. Ritonavir is a common antiviral medication that is used in other viral conditions such as hepatitis as well as um, HIV, where it doesn't really act as an antiviral in itself, it acts by increasing the concentration of the other active ingredient by preventing the breakdown. So when you give a medication, say of uh, antiviral medication, your body will sees like a foreign substance in it and tries to break it down from doing its job. Now, what ritonavir does is that it prevents or slows down the breakdown of Paxlovid. So there's more Paxlovid in your body to help do its job and, and its job is to act as an antiviral against COVID-19. That's something interesting to know if you are taking Paxlovid, it will come in two different tablets and one other tablet will be ritonavir. In the published study by Pfizer, which I'll link in the description below, if you take Paxlovid within three days of having symptoms or infection, it showed a lot of positive outcomes for patients with COVID-19, but they also see that within five days of symptoms or infection also yields very good outcomes. So this is very good news for patients who have been struggling, also for prescribers who want to manage patients with COVID-19 to have a medication, an antiviral medication has uh, really strong outcomes is, is good news in my opinion. Now the dosing regimen is that you want to take two tablets of Paxlovid with one tablet of ritonavir every 12 hours for about five days. And that's the dosing regimen they did in the study in which um, patients who will now get Paxlovid will take that same regimen. Now in this part of the video, I'm going to be talking about access to this medication. Now as a pharmacist based in Southern California, when I first heard about Paxlovid, I immediately got excited that there's a medication, an antiviral tablet that's very effective in treating patients with COVID-19 also very safe. So when I read about it a little more, I saw that Pfizer and its facilities will be manufacturing this medication in large quantities by hopefully middle to late January 2022, which is right now or at the time of this recording. Now, I'm like, okay, that's great. And about a week or so ago, I got an email from the county which I'm located in saying that Paxlovid is starting to roll out to pharmacies and it's only being uh, rolled up to specific pharmacies and they didn't even give us the option to apply to even carry Paxlovid, which I saw that as very frustrating because of Paxlovid is an antiviral tablet. For how much I understand of it, there's no special storage or uh, uh, procedures with this medication. I, I imagine that any other tablet or any other antibiotic that could be dispensed to patients. Now, um, I, I work at a private family owned uh, community pharmacy and um, I don't like the idea of, of allocation being distributed to specific pharmacies for whatever reason because with the COVID-19 vaccine uh, the rollout was also needed to be done very fast so I know big facilities got that rolled out um, initially but our pharmacy was able to apply to carry the COVID vaccine whether it's Moderna, Pfizer, or Johnson Johnson. With Paxlovid in this case um, it was very frustrating because the email didn't even give it any option to apply because I have a bunch of patients who get COVID-19. I get calls from doctor's offices asking if I carry Paxlovid and I have to say I don't and I don't have access to even getting Paxlovid. So that part of my job is a little bit frustrating because I want to help my patients as much as I can when they ask for, for a medication that um, it works and it's effective and safe and they have COVID-19 and I don't even have the ability to help them out. That part gets frustrating, but overall I'm very excited that there's a medication out there that I can help manage patients with COVID-19 and it's very effective. So that's the most important thing in my book. So I'm very happy and grateful for that. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and learned something new. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment any feedback or uh, questions you guys have for me. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.